Howdy, partners. What you're about to see are real live thrillbillies performing all kinds of thrillbilly stunts. These are trained professionals, and they've practiced real hard and taken all the necessary safety precautions so that no one gets hurt. Bottom line, don't be a dargone fool and try any of this stuff on your own. Remember, safety first. <laughs> Two thousand one, yeah, Carrie Hart did the first flip, and it was just everyone was like, "No way, that didn't just happen." And at the same time, most of your motocross hardcore fans were going, "The backflip is going to kill the sport. People are going to die. They're going to get hurt. It's horrible. You can never do it consistently." And even myself, I'm thinking, "All right, if I just do one flip one time, I'll, I'll call it a day. That'll be it." The, one of the more exciting things, again, about what we do is pushing people. You know, you, there's a fine line between pushing them to where they're going to get injured or to where they're going to succeed and accomplish something in their life. And Travis had this massive, when he flipped, nobody else wanted, none of the other guys that had flipped wanted to teach anybody how to flip because they wanted to be the only ones to go do it. They were getting big money to go to contests and do this stunt. Well, Travis is just the opposite, typical Pastrana. He starts just bringing people into his place and teaching them how to flip. You know, he had this whole theory of uh, not not the Andy Bell school where everything's wrong, but Travis actually knew what he was doing. For a long time, and probably still today, Travis had the best place in the world to learn backflips at. Um, he had the foam pit there, uh, and he eventually, when I learned it, there was not the foam pit for big bikes, but then he eventually got that. Um, but he had the foam pit for bicycles, and then different step ups for pit bikes, and then for the big bike with a mulch pile and then a ramp to a mulch pile landing. And so I think he had one of the safest setups in, in the world to learn backflips. I've never ridden a bike in my life. Am I just gonna like pull around and give her? That's it. First is down. More speed. That'll do it. And he would take them and put them on mini bikes, and they'd flip on mini bikes, and then they'd graduate up to the big bike and, and bicycles. And, and uh, so he just had, I mean, Nate Adams came through there, and Chuck Carruthers, and his cousin came through there. Special Greg flipped, Jim flipped. I mean, these guys, these guys, Special Greg and Jim, weren't even motorcycle guys, but because they hang out with Travis, he just pushed him to flip. Most of the American freestylers went, hey, yeah, let's go to Travis's and learn it. Um, there was definitely a lot, of, a lot of carnage there, though. Um, I know the, the loner bike has been through a lot of sets of handlebars and levers and plastic and stuff where people just wad and left and ride on it. That's why Travis has 370, so we can destroy him. So he's just teaching people left and right. And still, here we are four years later, and he's still teaching people left and right how to flip. I mean, you go to Travis's house, you better be ready because you're going to flip. You're going to flip into the foam pit, then you're going to flip onto the dirt. And, you know, he loves it because those people get such a, you know, they're, they're scared to death, and he knows it, but he can work them through it and coach them through it and get them done. And then at the end of the day, they're standing there going, man, I just threw a backflip. And 90% of the time, they'll succeed at it. I was involved a little bit with the backflip training. Um, you know, started on the bicycles and just completely bombed out. I couldn't get around, and then got on the mini bikes, had a tough time with that too, so. I just said, screw it, I'm going straight to the big bike. So I hopped on a big bike, and within a couple jumps, Travis had me doing the 40-foot gap off the super kicker, and um, I was writing home that afternoon telling him that Travis taught me how to do a backflip, and I was, I was pumped. Some guys just need that little kick in the pants for extra um, confidence builder, and you and your old man, you sure got that effect, you know? Do it, Cool, makes for good TV. Well, I don't know if you'd call him a good teacher. He's definitely good at putting enough pressure on to make you feel so belittled that you'll do whatever he says. And that's just what Travis is good at. He can never be happy with you. If you go there and you learn to do a backflip, and you're pumped, you're like, yes, I just backflipped a bicycle. You can't even revel in the excitement of that because you're like, revel? What the hell's a revel? You can't, you can't even be excited about backflipping a BMX bike because it's like, okay, now do it on the 110. And when you do it on the 110, okay, now do it on 125. And then you do that, I mean, it just never stops. If you get it on a big bike, then it's like, try double flip on this bike. I mean, it just, 
he pushes you to elevate yourself constantly. And you know what it really comes from his dad, because Robert is the exact same way.